welcome to my channel. I thought I would do a review of our weekend break away at a haven site. Um, I will show you the caravan and the site itself and just a couple of things that we got up to. So we've come to Haven at Wild Duck. Our caravan booking in time was between 3 and 4 p.m. We got here about 12.30 and checked in and was told they'd ring us when the caravan had been cleaned. So we just had a little walk around, went and checked out where our caravan was and the cleaner was in there. That was fine. So we then went and got something to eat in the sitting dark, which food was lovely. Um, then we got a phone call about one o'clock saying our caravan was ready. So ready two hours early. So pleased with that. Um, the boys have just gone swimming. I booked um, a swimming slot literally an hour before. And... They've gone swimming. I'm just going for a walk round, having a look. It's so quiet here. Whether it'll stay like this all weekend or not, I don't know, but it is lovely. Got squirrels right outside our caravan. I'm trying to find where we used to have a caravan as kids. My mum and dad had a caravan here back in 70s, 80s. So I'm trying to see if I can find it. I'll let you know if I do. Obviously, I don't mean the actual caravan. I mean the plot <laughs> where we used to have a caravan as kids. But anyway, I can't find it. Uh, but this is the main complex, um, which is right in the centre. Um, it's only a small site, so um, you haven't got to walk far from probably anywhere that you stay really on the site. Uh, we were literally a minute's walk away, um, but it's very, very pretty and very clean. Um, obviously, look how quiet it is. This was um, Friday lunchtime, so obviously before most people had got there to check in. Uh, there's a swimming pool. The Sitting Duck, which is the restaurant, which is now dog friendly, it advertises, but literally only had a couple of tables that you could sit at. So if it's busy, um, you can't reserve them either. So if it's busy, it would be a bit difficult to get table. But this is the shop um, that sells everything, really. So if you forget something or you just need some milk. Um, yeah, it's more expensive than if you went to a supermarket, but it's for convenience. It's a convenience store. So this was our caravan. We booked a, a bronze caravan, uh, a three-bedroom. This is a lounge area, TV. It was okay. Didn't watch it much. It's fire. Um, it's central heated, which, oh my God, it's so warm. We had to turn all the radiators down. Had a fridge freezer and a microwave and an oven. Um, this was at a separate toilet. I didn't actually like this caravan. It is so cramped. The bedroom area, this area that I'm showing you now is so, so narrow and squashed in. I think because it's three bedrooms. I've never stayed in this type of caravan before. I didn't like it. This is a double bedroom. There's literally no room around the bed. So trying to get dressed in there is just impossible, really. Yeah, I, I didn't. I don't like this caravan. I wouldn't book this one again. So the shower and a sink is separate to where the toilet is, which is probably a good idea. Uh, but that's cramped as well. Um, this was twin beds. Beds are really narrow, um, lengthwise they're okay, but they're just very narrow. And this was the third bedroom, which is bunk beds, um, with a little single wardrobe at the end. 
but yeah, I mean, it's fine. We didn't spend a lot of time in the caravan anyway for our weekend. Um, but yeah, I did find it quite claustrophobic having a shower or going to the toilet or even in the bedroom trying to get dressed. Um, yeah, so Wild Duck is just loads of trees. So there's loads of squirrels and they're quite friendly. <laughs> They come right up to your door. Obviously, I didn't encourage them, feed them or let them in. We've got a little dog, so no, but it's cute. It's really lovely watching them. That's my little dog. Uh, this um, pond, is it called? A lake? I don't know. Uh, it was in the middle of the um, site, basically, uh, with really lovely caravans or lodges or whatever they're called around it uh, there's a tiny little mini golf course I mean it is tiny I don't know what they charged for that we didn't do that we did hire the bikes um, on site we didn't do the mini golf I just thought I'd show you the laundrette I didn't yeah, use I this Oh, iron and ironing board. Don't know if you have to pay for that. Washing machines. Oh, there we go, there's the prices. Opening times. And all the instructions you need. God, they're massive drums. Get loads in there. I don't know, I'm trying to see if there's... Oh, you need a token. I guess you go and get tokens from reception. Yeah. There's a little play area there, just outside. So if you wanted to come and do your washing, let your kids have a play while it's doing, you're just literally there. Wild Duck also have an outdoor swimming pool um, that was closed at the time that we stayed because of the time of year. Um, I also took some pictures of their lunchtime uh, menus. Food was absolutely lovely. We ate in the sitting duck twice while we stayed there and had no complaints. Everything that we had uh, was really, really good. That's the spicy Cajun chicken pasta. Very nice. Um, I took a couple of pictures of the opening and closing times of all the facilities on site just for you in case you needed to know those. Um, on the Saturday, we went into Great Yarmouth, which is literally a 10 minute drive. Um, not very far at all, quite easy to get to. Yarmouth hasn't changed at all from when we used to come as kids. I mean, I'm in my 50s now. Um, but yeah, it's all very, very similar. Um, but yeah, look how clean it looks. I know it's the start of the season. But yeah, it was it was really, really nice. We wanted to go into the Saturday market because um, my other half wanted to get chips. <laughs> uh, he said the chips are stunning from the market at Great Yarmouth. So um, didn't have many stalls there, to be honest. And weren't really impressed with the shops because we had to take our little dog and you can't get into the shopping centre with dogs. So we were just limited to everything that was outside. But it was fine. Uh, we parked along the main road. Oh, this is the market. He's getting his chips. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. He's eating chips. There are so many people eating chips. <laughs> and that's us. I've got a 15-year-old son. We're in our 50s. Yeah, we had a lovely time. Did not go on that ride it was so high uh, one of the shops we've been to Yarmouth before 
and I bought these wax melts. I used to make wax melts. I used to have my own business for a few years. Uh, I don't do it now. Um, and I struggled to find good wax melts. This shop in Yarmouth, they are stunning. Everyone I've tried so far, they all smell so strong. They last a long time. And they're just £2.50. Um, they do have a website and you can order online. Delivery is just £2.50. Um, yeah, really, really nice. So when we went back to the site that afternoon, we hired a bike. I haven't ridden a bike for years. <laughs> Sunday we hired this gorgeous beach hut uh, in Gorston on Sea which is 10 minutes away from the Haven campsite it is stunning definitely recommend this happy days beach hut on Gorston look at that lovely sand it's such nice sand in this area yeah I would definitely recommend it it was lovely so all, overall our weekend was lovely I would definitely recommend wild duck uh, haven if you want a quieter uh, break it is stunning very clean but it's definitely the quietest one that I've ever been to if you want to ask any questions in the comment box ask away I'll be happy to try and answer them for you